Welcome to another J Crazy News headlines and a special Sunday to those who are watching this news broadcast. Now to my viewers and my subscribers, first on the news, we are still in the parish of St. Catherine as we go across Portmore to be exact, Gregory Park, where last week you saw major police and military operation in Gregory Park because of gang feud that has erupted once again. You see, Gregory Park is like a ticking time bomb. This minute it quiet, the other minute it erupts uncontrollably. Now you saw where last week the point of the operation in Caymanas Gardens as well as surrounding areas in Portmore St. Catherine where one man was fatally shot during a shootout with the police. Guns were also recovered. Not to mention a so-called dancer artist arrested. His name is Demario Bryan aka Sina of a St. Thomas address. Now the man who was shot and killed Residents call him a protector of the community. And based on the residents, they're saying that they're in fear because police killed the one man who protect them community, leaving them vulnerable to attacks and fire boom to their houses. Now, I must commend the police to kill a violence producer Arrest a so-called artist who is a violence producer and other men were arrested. Now, a gunman cannot be a protector. A gunman is a life taker. Eventually, that same so-called protector would have turned around and killed the same residents in the same community in Gregory Park. I don't understand why people from the ghetto do not get that logic. A gunman cannot be tamed. A violence producer can never be tamed. The police should be the only protector in any and every community. A violence producer brings violence, bloodshed and mayhem. And I said earlier in this video, sooner or later that same protector would turn around and kill you, the same residents in the community, who are taken up from the deceased, who was a protector. A gunman cannot be a protector. Gunmen cannot be tamed. However, based on residents or a resident, they are saying that the police in Portmore, especially allegedly 100 man police station officers, some cops there are playing politics with the war and also taking money from dance in Gregory Park to not pressure their turf. Jamaica police, them are the worst because them are the mastermind behind crime. A three sided place at war and them not even going to the other sides cause them done pay them not to come or if them are come tell them cause them never catch nobody down there me live down there so me can tell you you know now based on all that information we have the areas in Gregory Park that the police are not pressuring is golf in Gregory Park and you know the Dan for golf, the one Chargy Badness himself, who you see on your screen right now. They are saying that the police is being paid not to pressure the other areas. And there are three sides at war in Gregory Park, but yet golf is not being pressured because the Dan has paid off some cops and if there is a quote-unquote 
operation. The Cobb Cops tip off men in golf so they can go and hide their guns, etc. etc. These are information I have received. Now, if these information are true, then I don't stand for it. These common practices have been going on for years in Jamaica, decades. I can give you an example. Tivoli versus Denham Town. Where you see the police pressure residents in Denham Town more than TG. The cops are always in Denham Town doing operation. But you hardly see them doing operation in Tivoli Gardens. And other areas in Jamaica, other ghettos in Jamaica. Yeah, man. Politics is really in the streets in Jamaica. Not just politicians who take sides with gangs in Jamaica, but also you have cops who are siding with one area and going against another area. When the cops themselves should be going against two areas arresting criminals from both rival sides and this is why Jamaica crime rate cannot lower in percentage as the way that we want to see it because of corruption you see in Jamaica Corruption is real in the streets, not just in the House of Parliament or partitions, but it's real in the streets where you have police officers, corrupt cops, are taking sides, hiding, covering for criminal organization. This is why Jamaica will never see the decrease in crime. But this ought to be because corrupt cops continue to be in the streets shielding, covering, and even doing killings for a criminal organization. Not to mention pressuring one side while shielding and leaving another. This is unfair. Two Jamaica as a country and in order for us to see Jamaica better we have to remove corruption from every level whether political security and street corruption I always say corruption is the reason why Jamaica has one of the highest rate when it comes down to homicide in the world even more murders than some first world countries because of drastic continuous corruption between criminals politicians criminals and law enforcement the other side of saint catherine spanish town and we are back in six john's road where Based on information, there is alleged female being grown, being groomed by criminal element Chucky. Now, this female is said to be known as Brit, who is 18 years of age. Her picture is on the thumbnail. Now, Brit is said to be walking with these criminal elements and her appearance don't know what's going on thinking that she is a angel now they said that when Chucky and his cronies are going on any criminal operation Brit is there with them and quote unquote also walking with a alleged gun now 
Now, Brit is an aspiring criminal element on the pathway of destruction. And when I say on the pathway of destruction, I mean her life is no more of value. Being that she has crossed over to the path of darkness, but pretend to be an angel. It is also said that she is quote unquote involved with a criminal element as well. Now these Krasmites are no different than the criminal element themselves. They help to shield, set up, and also breed for these criminal elements. Where the continuation of the lifestyle of criminal activities continue. Because the child grew up to be a criminal element themselves. Now Brit, this is a warning to you. Because you live in the quote-unquote Six John's Road area. If you don't desist from going down this path of destruction and lifestyle, you will end up being in prison or being killed. Because if they cannot catch your criminal boyfriend or Chucky or Platinum, who you par with, then they're going to target you. And I'm certain that you would not want to feel what it's like to be shot in the streets of John's Road or any part of Spanish Town. So this is a warning to you to desist from involving yourself this kind of lifestyle. Now Chucky, I know you're upset because you have been exposed for your criminal activities to the point where you are threatening to take away residents phone in the area to see who are giving me information. You, you see, see Chucky, I'm like the bird that tweet tweet in the tree while listening to your conversation. Yes man, that little bird that keeps on tweet tweet near you when you speak. So, I have my surveillance on you. So don't think for a second that I don't know your movements. Remember, I like the bird the tree that listen to you, that sits on that leaf and listen every conversation and every criminal activities that you're planning. Now, it's in the parish of St. Catherine, Spanish Town to be exact, where this controversial figure known as Jeremiah, who is the era leader of Chambers Lane, has now gone across to America, into Philly. And now, he has been by Placa side, helping him fight the war against Roto. Now, in the video you saw, that is circulating across social media. You saw where Roto and Big Stone or Stone were shot and injured. And Jeremy was in the video running with the Glock asking if a plucker and Stone get shot. Now, he was one time a top shooter for Tickman when he was in Jamaica. But because of police continuous pressuring and also he been wanted for various crimes such as murders in of Jamaica and now overseas in Philly helping to fight the war against Roto. I can tell you right now Philly is in a big mess especially this war between Roto and Plaka. Trust me it is far from over and I said before in previous video there will be a reprisal for the injuring of Plaka and his right hand Big Stone. So you know how that go down. And not to mention, Tisha Miller had a hand in it. So you know, the one other members out here will go up against or attack members who are saying Tisha Miller in Spain Town.
Now we head towards Bayshore Park or Bayshore in Harborview, where this continuous gang violence in the area claim yet another life. Now dead is Elvis, otherwise known as Odin. Now he shot and killed on Friday night by criminal elements in Bayshore Old Harbor. Now almost a week ago, a man known as Raphael was also shot and killed in the same Bayshore Harbor view. Now this continuous gang feud between two rival factions in the area is causing a lot of mayhem. As the police, something has to be done drastically. This is Jay Crazy. Again, until then, present safe Sunday afternoon. Yeah, man, I'm here to see a black legend. I'm here to represent for Jay Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. So, watch, like, comment, subscribe, and share out the thing. Jay Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. We review news and entertainment. Celebrity man star move them far through. Jay Crazy not play with him, I review the thing. Then, Jay Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. We review news and entertainment. Celebrity life star move them far through. Jay Crazy not play with him, I review the thing. Then, Review the thing then, review the thing then Jay Crazy Reviewing news, entertainment and celebrity lifestyle Review the thing then, review the thing then Jay Crazy